Hey, it's Peter here with PhysicalTherapyTV.com. In today's episode, we are going to discuss uh, disc desiccation. Uh, desiccation means atrophy or drying out of the intervertebral discs in your spine uh, and a resu uh, a resulting in loss of height. Uh, spinal discs are normally very rubbery, round pads that are filled with a jelly-like substance called your nucleus. Normal discs are usually very well hydrated and the nucleus containing 80 to 85 percent of water and the annulus about 80 percent. Now together with the cartilage and plates of the adjacent, adjacent vertebral bodies, the intervertebral disc forms a disc complex that gives structural integrity to the space between the, uh, the vertebrae and cushions the mechanical forces applied to your spine whether bending forward, forward, rotating your body side to side. Now desiccation is often considered the first stage of spinal degenerative uh, changes or uh, degenerative disc disease and uh, it, it's a phase where there is no longer uh, adequate cushioning uh, between the vertebrae and, and changes starts occurring. Uh, you can see from these little red arrows how it's pointing out to a flattening of that little space between the the vertebrae. You can see the the two uh, two areas above those red arrows how nicely uh, the space is filled up with a normal looking disc. But if you look at this area right here, you can see that it's sort of a little uneven and starting to flatten out. To give you even a better look at this. Um, this is an MRI of uh, somebody starting to see some changes, uh, degenerative disc disease or disc desiccation starting to occur. Uh, I filled in the entire area here on the normal disc so that you can see how nice and smooth and full that space is. Now when you look at the yellow outline in this disc that's starting to be affected, you can see how the changes are occurring. Over time, uh, you know, a herniated or a disc bulge can result and also osteophytes starts forming on the end of the vertebrae which can lead to a pinching or pain as well. Uh, some basic facts that you should know about bulging or herniated discs which is a result from degenerative disc disease is that an MRI is typically used to confirm the location and seriousness of a disc desiccation and then uh, a bulging herniated discs. Typically if you have uh, a bulging herniated disc uh, they heal on their own over a period of one to six months and over time uh, most patients will heal uh, from this without any uh, need for surgery. Um, it's very important to maintain uh, good flexibility in your spine. Uh, some uh, helpful exercises is hamstring stretches, uh, gluteal and piriformis muscle stretches that you can see right here. Also runner stretch is great for working on your hip flexor and calf muscle flexibility. Uh, stability strength is uh, very important as well. Uh, doing exercises such as a plank or side plank exercise is great for keeping those postural muscles strong so that you don't have any changes occurring to your spine. Uh, and this is very important because from a physical therapy standpoint when we see patients in a clinic two of the physical factors contributing to herniated and bulging discs and even prior to, th to that disc desiccation is people starting to lose uh, flexibility in their joints and muscles and losing strength in their uh, core which leads to changes in their spine and over time causes more pressure on the disc and can lead to factors such as your disc starting to uh, just wear out and lose that hydration uh, which is actually a normal part of aging but you always want to try and do what you can uh, to try and minimize this. Uh, that is it for today. Hope you found this helpful. Uh, leave, leave us some positive comments if you found this video helpful. We'll post some more information about this condition over at physicaltherapytv.com. Thank you so much for watching.